Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming where you can see great games played badly. I'm John and this is Foundation. Now last episode we did quite a lot. Um, we've expanded or we are in the process of expanding our church down here. Uh, it's already up to an attendance of 51. We still have another um, core building going in. Um, that should be finished fairly quickly. Uh, we finished our new Fisher's Hut down here. Uh, we are putting in our monastery over here. Uh, I'm also putting in, as you can see, a, another lumber camp. Uh, and I'm going to clear out some of this wood here. Uh, so once this is done, which should be any second now, uh, we'll assign some villagers to that. Come on, Gresma, get a move on. There we go. So, uh, and I'm just literally just sort of clearing out a bit of space up here. Uh, gives a bit more space for these uh, vineyards. Um, and if we want to expand the monastery, we can do. So that's going on over here. Um, up here, we put in a bunch of new industry. Um, so we are producing a fair amount of uh, common wares and tools. I'll open that. Open that. Thank you. Uh, weapons, tools, all that is, is coming in now. So that's good. Um, we're still not doing great with uh, our bread supply. Our cheese is, is up and running now. That's great. That's, that's through the roof. Um, our berries are great. Fish, you know, we've just put in another fisher's hut, so that'll help. But we, we are definitely hurting for, um, which is why we've opened up this area down here, and we have woodcutters, woodcutters in there, uh, clearing out all of this, and we're going to put some more farms in down here. Yeah, um, what else? We've opened up this bit here, and we've set this aside for um, a bit more residential space. And in fact, uh, oh yes, that's why I left it there didn't come closer to the road there uh so yeah we, we've opened up some more space here we will expand that round we've put in a well um in there uh, i believe that's complete yes uh, and people are starting to move in but you know and we're getting a fair supply of villagers in now which is good uh up here we are in the process of putting in uh another iron mine so we'll need four workers for that. And we are expanding the quartz deposit here. Uh, so we'll need another two workers for that. We are going to need to put in a church up here. Um, for, for this lot to, to worship in. So let's... We're not going to go crazy up there. Um, let me think. We need a lot of polished stone for the monastery. So I'm not going to build a church. I'm just going to build a rustic church because that in theory doesn't need um, polished stone, just ordinary stone, I think. Um, we will make it reasonably large. Um, yeah, honestly, we might as well make it very big and then we can expand a bit more. Um, We'll put a bell tower on there, and we'll do the same on that side. Uh, oh, they're about even. That's good. Um, as I said, we're not going to go crazy, and the first thing I do is start going crazy. We'll bung some crosses on, because why not? There we go. That will do. Uh, but we've got a lot of berries up here. A lot of berries. Um, the, these two X's alone have more berries than the rest of the map, I think. Um, in terms of resources, over here we do have two um, gold mines that we are not currently using, um, because we have no reason to. We have another iron and another quartz over here, um, which is good. But the only other place on the map that I can see that has... Um, mineral deposits are over here on this side of the river here uh, and there's a couple there or over here where there is two with several 
individual nodes on by the looks of it. So if we want more minerals, and we are going to want more minerals at some stage, we are going to need to come across here, which will be fun. Um, and we do want to expand our keep a little bit as well at some point. Um, we've put in the, the walls already, but we want to bring those around. Uh, I did originally have the idea of basically just this entire island being a massive keep uh, and just keep filling it up with more and more soldiers. Uh, but we do have a promotion available. I should probably see to that. Uh, I'm going to promote all of the serfs. I think. And that's probably wise. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... Should I? Yeah. Okay, the, the really unhappy ones I will promote to the next level. Um, it probably won't help. It's probably entirely the opposite of what I should be doing. Um, because they're the ones who don't have the... Uh, the various things they need for, for this level, if they're unhappy. So, we're talking about common, uh, talking about what are these? Are these serfs? Yes, these will be serfs. Um, so they're not getting goods, food, and comfort. So, they also have a service need. But it doesn't say that it does. Let me scroll down. Goods and luxury. Okay, so yeah, they will all need um, service, regardless of their status within our society. But that will do for now, I think. Uh, we have a military mission available. How is my army looking? Eh? They could do with the practice, I suppose. Yeah, go on. It's an easy mission. We'll do that. So, who will we send? Uh, we'll definitely send our fully trained novice, um, and our mostly trained, oh, I suppose we might as well sell, uh, send all of them that aren't wounded. Yeah, why not? There we go. Oh, and we have a bailiff available for mandate, and at the moment all we can do is gain influence, so we'll, um, let's have a look at our estates page. Okay, so influence, we could do with some kingdom influence, honestly, or well, we do with a lot. Of, of everything but kingdom influence is the most pressing at the moment so we'll send them to gain influence with the kingdom now our church is nearly finished i don't know what they're they've still got to do it's probably some decoration somewhere maybe or a door or something um but yeah that will be finished momentarily that's good um what else was i building Oh, yes, mines. I don't think they're done yet. Uh, no, waiting for a builder. Waiting for a builder. Okay, good. So, for now... Oh, there's a house going in there, all being upgraded. Uh, for now, I'm going to have to spin on a little bit until... Obviously, some of the building is done, some more land is cleared. Um, we are going to need jobs for people. Do we have any spare jobs? Uh, that's in the monastery, so we can't do that yet. Um, that's for luxury goods, so we can't do that yet. Ah, we have a hunter's help we can put someone in. Good, good. Um, oh, and a warehouse is completed. Where is this warehouse? It's up here. Okay, so yes, you are storing. Where are we? Uh, quartz. You are storing glass, and you should probably store coal as well, honestly. Uh, actually, we can have you storing gems uh, and coal. How are we doing for coal on that note? Fine. We're doing fine. Uh, we have some beer in stock. Okay, yep, yeah, that's not too bad. We are starting to increase our stock of boar, which means we're getting meals in. Excellent. Okay, we're in a good place at the moment. So, I will run things on until our church is complete. That's nice. Uh, so, what are we looking at now? 71 attendants. That's a bit better. That should start bringing people's happiness up a bit. Um, so, yes, I will, I will play on until some of this building, probably not the monastery, because that is going to take a very, very long time. Um... We need 575 polished stone, and yeah, 
that's coming in quite slowly at the moment. Uh, but I will, as I say, spin on and come back when something has happened. Right, well, I've played on a little bit. Um, most of our building work is done. Obviously, our monastery has barely, barely been done. Um, we are getting rid of the wood in this area so we can rearrange those um, vine, uh, those vineyards. Um, our iron mine up here is complete and staffed. So we are bringing in more iron ore now. Um, I've added another market stall up here to sell uh, cheese because we have a decent supply of cheese. Um, not much is moving on the, the church front. Um, I'm adding some more to this church over here because we're adding more housing, so it makes sense to uh, uh, add a bit more to the church there, a bit more capacity there. Uh, our soldiers came back, but they are a little bit beaten up, as you can see. Um, so we're not going to be taking any military missions for a little while. Um, other than that, things are progressing as they were before. Uh, we have cleared out enough space down here to put in um, a farm, I think. Oops, a bit, bit of a dramatic zoom there. Sorry about that. So we'll put in another um, wheat farm down here. Um, might as well pop it in just there. Uh, and then we'll bring the field out to the side here. So that'll give us a little bit more wheat coming in, and then once the rest of these trees are cleared, we can put in another one and, and have two extra fields. And we have a promotion available. Let's promote all the serfs. There we go. Um, just going to promote a random bunch of uh, villagers, and that will do. Oh, you're really miserable. Why are you miserable? Services. Yeah, well, deal with it. Just the way it's going to be. Right. Uh, no, my soldiers are bleeding. Yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. Nothing much has changed. We are just waiting for things to, uh, to build at the moment. Uh, I could actually probably fit uh, another mine on there without buying any more land, but let's have a look. How are we doing for iron ore at the moment? Not great. Not great. Hmm. No, we, we've only just put in that new mine. We'll see how that goes before we put any more in. Um, get rid of that. We have two spare villagers. Do we have any jobs available for them at the moment? Um... Doesn't look like it. Only in the monastery. Yeah. So we'll save them for that uh, uh, that wheat farm when that goes in. Um. Yeah. In the meantime, that's really all we can do. Just, just play on and wait. So that's what I'll do. So I've played on a little longer, uh, about another month. As you can see, our church here is well underway. Um, one of the core buildings is already in place um, and is full. Uh, we've got 240 population, and this will give us more than enough service for everybody. Um, the extension I put in over here is complete, uh, giving this uh, weekly attendance of 70. Uh, over here, we've got 60. And over in this church here, we've also got 70. And we, we do have space here that we can continue to expand should we need to um our monastery i mean it's coming along both the apiaries are in both the vineyards are in the herbalist is in the uh, the winemaker um is in the vintners we're just waiting for the uh the buildings that we can actually start putting monks into to be finished. Um, yeah, over here, uh, I am doing some building work. Uh, I'm putting in, I can't select it because no, nope. it's there somewhere. Where are you? This one. 
I'm putting in a stone extension here, uh, overlapping the wall. So it gives us like a a rampart watchtower type effect. Uh, and I want to see how that's how that actually looks before I repeat it on this side. Um, I'm not sure how far I'd be able to put one on the other side. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'll be able to get one about there. Turn it around a little bit. All right, that's too far. That that works. Okay, so we'll be able to put one in there. Should I need to, or or when I need to, shall we say? Uh, because I want to see if once those are in, it extends the range at which we can build um, keep parts. That's that's what I'm testing there, basically. Um, the this field is up and running. I mean, obviously they, I've I've painted it too big as usual. Um, but uh, now we know the kind of size we can get away with. We'll, we'll, once this is harvested, we'll cut basically that off uh, and spread it up around here a little bit. Uh, and then we can put in a, another farm down here. Um, yeah, obviously, they haven't harvested any yet, so we haven't seen any change. Um, all of our mines are fully staffed. Um, I'm putting in another iron smelter up here because uh, we have plenty of iron ore and coal now but we don't have any uh, a lot of iron coming through so yeah um this glass smelter is burning through the quartz quicker than we can mine it um so that can probably support another mine and we have another deposit over here um, so it might be worth opening up this hex as well, but I do want to move towards, where are we? One of these sets of deposits. This one will be easier to get to because the bridges will be shorter. Um, and I'll probably need to buy fewer hexes to get there. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, it's not like we're hurting for money at the moment. We're, we're doing... Fine for money. What do you want? People are hungry. Uh, fish. I mean, uh, it's, it's the wrong thing to ask for, really. Ask for cheese. I've got plenty of cheese. Berries. Could do a ton of berries. Fish, not so much. You'd you think we'd have more fish, to be honest. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Fisher's huts. Six. And we have no fish. Yeah. Never mind. And no villagers because we're we've got unemployed. Okay, um, let's have a look. The space for 13 here, so let's get another three of those in there. And really I really want this to be finished so I can start putting monks to work. Um, uh, oh, along here I've put in a line of trees because these houses are perilously close to all of this industrial stuff. Um, so I've just tried to sort of pretty the area up by putting in a, a line of cypress trees. Uh, that's really it. Um, I am really tempted to open this up and at least get another quartz mine on. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Which one do I want? I want that one. Okay, and then we'll build a quarry there. We're not going to be able to fit another one on, are we? No, that's outside the territory. Okay, well, we'll put a crane in, and off you go. We'll get someone to build that. Um, yeah, and again, I'm going to be spinning on and hopefully waiting for things to be built um no you know what we have some houses over here clustering around the church because this is not desirable land so let's make it a little bit no that's not what i wanted let's oh actually i do want that because i want to arm our new recruits there we go okay uh 
Decoration. Right, let's put in some decoration. I'm going to put in a fountain there, I think. Um, that uses polished stone, and we are, you know, hurting for polished stone at the moment. Although, I did. That's one thing I did do. Where are we? Uh, I did put in another stonemason's hut to increase our supply of polished stone. Polished stone. I can't speak today. Uh, makes a difference. Okay, uh, more decoration. What are we going to have? Let's have uh, let's have some of these around the the fountain. I think that's nice, and we'll stick one on that corner as well. Um, something around here, I think. What can we put in around here? Put in a little fence or another row of trees. Um, let's put in a fence, I think. So, just a little one. Around, like, that. That will do. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a market along here. Or around in this area, anyway. Um, we will give them... Tent, but I'm not going to bother with signs for this one. Um, another food there. Uh, no, we want tents. And then I'm going to put a good store over here. And give that a blue tent. And now I'm going to pop in a bench there. A bench there. And a bench there. Yeah. Go for that. Okay, so that should hopefully improve the uh, desirability um, of this a little bit. It's already improving, as you can see, with the, the church expanding. But that's good. That's good. Now, we can do the same thing over here. Uh, we've already got a signpost, we've got a row of trees, we've got some bushes, uh, a little archway. Um, let's give them a statue. I think we should give them uh, a sheep statue over here. And we will put it right in, not with its bum facing the market, we'll put it in there. I think. Uh, and then again, we can modify the market with some more of the decorative bits, like the benches. Will it reach? Yes, it will. Look at that. We'll put a bench there. Uh, we'll put some barrels in there. This is I love this bit. This 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 decoration stuff is great. Um, oh, and how about a little fence? Let's have a little fence there. Yeah. Just like that. And then we can put some more barrels in. Like so. And that's a little sort of storage area off the side of this house. And then we'll put in some more bushes. So we'll put a bush in there. I don't need to hold down shift. Um, a bush there. Where else could we have some bushes? Let's have some bushes out this way. A whole bunch of bushes. Am I being on the path? No, no, we're okay. And another one there. Okay. So we've got a little bit of decoration going on. We've got building going on. I will spin on until some of that building is done. A quick update on the weather. It's raining. Again. Yeah. Things are wet. Miserable. Uh, we've cleared out all the uh, trees in this area. So I'm putting in another uh, wheat farm down here. Uh, and another windmill. Um, because we have a fair amount of wheat in stock. Uh, now, a lot of that is going to, to make beer, which is good. Um, but it does mean there's a fair amount sitting around that could be turned into uh, flour. Uh, we have a reasonable amount of flour as well, which is being turned into bread, slowly. So I'm thinking it might be worth putting in another bakery as well. A uh, more immediate problem, of course, is the fact that we are running out of clothes and common wares. Uh, I've put in another weaver's hut, because the problem appeared to be a shortage of cloth, um, so our two tailors weren't able to actually make the clothes. 
that's just gone in, so we'll see how that does. Um, the common wares, that should increase at the moment. Our iron supply is slowly increasing with the new uh, smelter. Um, everything else in that kind of chain seems okay. Um, so yeah, it's just turning it into iron. As you can see, it is, it is slowly building up, but it's being used by a lot of things as well. Uh, I'm actually thinking about finding a weaponsmith. There it is. Uh, and pausing that for a moment to stop it using uh, our supply of iron and tools. Because, I mean, we have 24. We're selling everything over 20. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pause that for a while just to help build up our stock of um, iron. Okay, so our market is finally built here. We will sell cheat. Berries and cheese. Um, yeah, that'll do. Right. In order for this to improve, we need a better supply of iron. We have a better supply of iron, so fingers crossed that will work. What are you? You're another blacksmith. You're making tools. How are we doing for tools? Eh, okay. Okay. Uh, glass. Are we selling glass? Is anyone buying glass? Does anyone want to buy glass? Nobody wants to buy glass. Oh, well. That doesn't help. Um, yes, that's where we are. Uh, I have also put in... You can see down here. Uh, a stained glass workshop. Uh, it's an attachment. It's a, a modification to the builder's workshop. Uh, basically, but it allows you to build stained glass. Uh, and because we have that now, I am putting in a stained glass window up here, which you obviously can't see because it hasn't been built yet. But when it is built, I'll probably remember to show you. Probably. Uh, so yes, that's where we are at the moment. So let's, let's speed things up a little bit. Uh, Monastery-wise... We're getting there. We're getting there. The The main building is almost complete. Almost. Uh, we're more than halfway through the amount of polished stone we need. So that's that's a start. Uh, everything else is fine. We've got the... Well, we will have the tools. We will have the planks. That's all fine. So we're getting there. Uh, we can promote people. So we'll promote all of our uh, newcomers to serfs. And at the moment, I don't really care about... Oh, we have a soldier we can uh, promote for free. So we will do that. Um, does mean they'll probably want luxury goods, which isn't ideal. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, my army just got its backside kicked, by the way. Uh, I, I went for the full three um, consecutive missions, uh, and they lost on the last one. Eh, it happens. Some of them died. You know. Hey, the sheep statue is built. Hello, sheep statue. I placed that bench pretty well, I think. Yeah, so, uh, things are looking a bit prettier up here now. Um, our happiness is up to 85%, which is pretty good. Um, the, the shortage of stuff is, is affecting that a little bit. Um, there you go. We have a stained glass window on our church now which is presumably prestigious i assume um yeah everything else is is as it was pretty much um this is a bit slower than the the last episode this is kind of tweaking what we put in last time uh and trying to make sure that everything works efficiently and at the moment uh, it's not so we're going to need to look at how we're going to improve this uh, it really is the, the supply of iron needs to improve. So I'm going to need to put in another smelter, I think. So let's just stick it right next to that one. Let's see if we can get that wall to connect up to that building. There we go. Uh, I apologize if you hear some background noise. It is Saturday night. And, you know, drunk people. Not that I have anything against drunk people in, in general. 
it's just when they shout outside the window when I'm trying to record. It's not ideal. That's a lie. I don't like drunk people. <laughs> okay, I will spin on uh, until, again, some of this building work is done um, and we get to a, a satisfying resolution to the episode. Hopefully when we eventually get some, some monks in there, but we'll see what happens. Weather update. It stopped raining. Hooray. Um, in other news, I've built another tailor's workshop because we have plenty of cloth and it's not quite getting turned into clothes quickly enough. Um, our supply of iron is increasing, fluctuating a bit, but increasing. Um, that's okay. Uh, I've put in another gatherer's hut up here because uh, our supply of berries is getting quite low. Um, as you can see, people are hungry. Uh, our supply of cheese has taken a hit, because that's basically been all there is. Um, our uh, windmill, over, I forgot the word, our windmill over here has been completed. Um, and the harvest has just come in, but it has just stopped raining, so that will be at one third yield. Um, and it looks like I can actually take some of this back here and I'll bring it up to this path here give or take um, and then we can fill in that section with the second farm which still hasn't been built uh, I'm putting in a, a granary up here to store additional wheat as well um, the bakery down here hasn't been built um, up here, our smelters are in and producing. Uh, I am seriously thinking about putting in another common wares workshop. Uh, we, ha we have a fairly solid supply of people coming into the village, so that's okay. And it's not like we don't have access to more iron if we need it. Um, what else have I done? Uh, this church still hasn't completed. Uh, this mine i can actually get some miners in here now that's literally just been done um but over here excitingly the first main building for our monastery is in which means in theory if we have a look for it where are we there we are abbey a we can set this to be a dormitory which houses up to 10 people which means we can start conceding villages to the monastery, hopefully. Only one. One at a time. Okay. Well, that's a start. We have one in, and they are working in the herbalist. So we will have herbs coming in. A, a few herbs coming in. Uh, fairly soon. So that's good. Um, other than that, yeah, we are just waiting. I mean, I make that sound like a, a, a terrible thing, that like it's a, a flaw of the gameplay, but it's actually just enjoyable watching things going on. It can get a little bit concerning when you start running low on things and it takes a while to build um, uh, the, the, the buildings or the, the infrastructure necessary to, to improve that. So uh, building another um, weaver's hut and tailor's hut took a long time and it, for that entire time, this was ticking down closer and closer to zero. Um, and the food was also ticking down, but I couldn't put in more food uh, production because they were busy building everything else. Um, and obviously I, I rushed that and we're still waiting for this uh, wheat farm down here to be completed. So I am going to put that on a priority. Uh, and we'll get that in as soon as possible. Uh, our food supply should improve anyway because... Uh, now it's not raining. The berries and the um, bread and I think possibly the milk as well is affected. I'm not sure about that. Um, but they are decreased during... Uh, oh, no, it's hops, I think, is decreased during uh, the rain. Uh, I've paused the building on the heap in order to sort of focus our building work elsewhere. Uh, we do have a lot of builders. I think we have 12 builders where are we oh our builders 
Is it 18 builders? Is that right? Yeah, 18 builders. Yeah, we have plenty of builders. So, I will spin on one last time. I will see if we can get some more monks working in here. And then we will end the episode there. So, I will spin on one more time, see if we can get some more of this building work done. Okay. Well, uh, the vain efforts of our soldiers to battle has inspired some of our, our villagers, and they wish to build an official garden masterpiece to honour the occasion. Um, if it's surrounded by forest, our soldier recovery speed is increased by two. Very well. Uh, we are victorious again. We can carry on. We've only got an average uh, probability of success, but I think I'm going to bring them back. Um, I'm just looking at our food production here because we are still a little bit short. We've got no cheese. Uh, we have a fair amount of milk and a fair amount coming in. Our church is complete, which is nice. So that's going to free up some builders. Uh, I'm putting in another gatherer's hut up here. Not that we have the people for it at the moment. Our bakery is complete. So we can put the one worker we do have in there. Uh, over at our monastery, we have one vintner, uh, vine grower uh, currently. So they are producing grapes, or will be producing grapes. Uh, our herbalists are producing herbs. Um, we have 31 herbs currently, and I have set, wherever it is, over here. Uh, I have set this market to sell herbs. Uh, so there is a luxury good now being sold. Finally. Um, we have another fisher's hut that's gone in. So we'll put a fisherman in there. Uh, and we will try and put another monk in here. Yes. So we now have two vine growers of the six we need. So that's a start. And we have a promotion available. So let's move all the way down first. None of our soldiers can be promoted, unfortunately. But we will promote all of the newcomers to serfs. And we will promote... Nobody's particularly unhappy by that. Oh, here we go. We have a few unhappy people. So we will promote those. Um, let's have a quick look at our estates. Um, oh, we we'll want to get the trade bonus there. So really, all we're looking for is monks now. We have everything else unlocked. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. In which case... Um, you're unhappy, you're unhappy. That'll do, I think. Nobody else is particularly unhappy. By the looks of things. We've got a lot of people here now. Um, that'll do. Right. Yes, we have a population of 270. Which is nice. Um, our church here holds 80. What's this? We have additional things we can build. Oh, the official garden masterpiece thing. Okay. Okay. So it's mostly wood, um, some polished stone... Yeah, wooden polished stone. Okay. Well, we will put that with our keep, I think. Uh, somewhere in the grounds of the keep. Maybe back here where it is surrounded by forest. And we have a gathering hut built, but no people to put in it. That's fine. Uh, I did buy this plot of land over here, and I have put in uh, a lumber camp to clear out the wood. Um, everything else is up and running. So... We will leave it there for this episode. It's been not as successful as the last one. Uh, we did get uh, our monastery well on the way to completion, and we do have monks working in it. So we are producing luxury goods. Uh, it looks like we have resolved the problem with the clothes. Uh, common wares is increasing as well. If we have a look here, we've got a lot of iron. Our iron ore is running low. But, if I come around here, we do have another iron um, 
node right here. So we can, if we buy this plot of land here, we can uh, put another mine in, which we're probably going to need to, but we're going to need to get more people in. There's some there. Um, but I'm going to put as many as possible each time we get people in. There we go. We've got both of those in there. That's good. So we're well on our way to uh, getting our 10 monks. Um, I'm not going to send my soldiers out because they're probably mostly injured. Yeah. But that's fine. Um, I was going to look at something else then and that, that distracted me. Not to worry. Yeah, so we want to basically get as many people in as possible. The only problem we've got at the moment is the food. And that is going to resolve itself, I think. Um, we've got a fair amount of wheat. We do have a lot of milk. So it might be worth putting in another cheesemaker. Uh, the only other thing I was thinking about is that we do have access to these two gold nodes. And we are starting to build up a supply of gems. Now, once we start turning those into jewellery, they will not last. They will be turned into jewellery, they will be gone, and it will take ages to get any more in. But it might be worth doing to have a little a little supply of uh, luxury goods that don't necessarily come from the monastery. But we'll think about that. But we will leave it there for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe if, as I always say, you've enjoyed the episode and you would like to see more. Please do check out the other videos on my channel. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, I've been John. This has been Foundation. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And goodbye.